everybody welcome to my kitchen so today I am going to be making pumpkin pie well I don't want to wait until Thanksgiving so I have been craving this pumpkins are in season now I'm going to show you two versions of how I make my pumpkin pies one is going to be with the actual pumpkin and then the other one is going to be out of the Libby's 100% pure pumpkin um, can here. Both really actually do come out good. So, I mean, whichever way that you want to do it, some people prefer to do just the can only because it takes less time. I like doing it both ways, it doesn't matter. Um, I do like freshly made pumpkin pies from the actual pumpkin though. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the pumpkin. You have to, you know, run it under water and because these come out, you know, from the farms to the store and they are pretty dirty. Even when I was went to go buy it, I had to clean my hands. Um, it's pretty dirty, so it has dirt on it. We're gonna clean it, ensure that there's no dirt on it. We're gonna cut it in half, I'll show you. And then we're gonna place it upside down on a cookie sheet with, placed with parchment paper. Um, so let's, um, let's do that right now. Okay, so all we're gonna do is wash it. We can use a rag just to make sure that all the dirt comes off. it and then we're gonna cut it smaller pumpkins are easier to cut much easier okay but once you have that all you have to do is just open it up. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove all this. So remove all of this. You can save it, um, not, not this, but you can save the seeds and then you can toast them. But we're going to remove <clears throat> all the inside. And just continue to clean it just like that so now what you're gonna do once you have it all cleaned out I got mine pretty cleaned out I'm only gonna do one side because with just half of this you're gonna get a lot of puree uh, I'm gonna just save the other one for something else um, and then you're gonna get your parchment paper. I'm gonna lay it out. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna put the, not this way, you're not gonna put it that way. You're gonna flip it. So you want to do it upside down like that. And this is going to go into the oven. The oven has to be preheated already at 350 degrees. Um, it's gonna be in there about 40 to 50 minutes. So what you're trying to check is for the outside to be soft to the touch. So um, maybe like after 40 minutes, you're gonna open the oven and you're gonna feel this. And this is pretty much just going to bend down because it's gonna be all soft already. Um, that's what you're looking for. If you need to, dish, to leave it an additional 10 minutes, go ahead and do that. 
so I will put this in the oven and I will see you back to finish the rest okay you guys so this actually took me one hour before it was even soft so it has to come out of the oven like this see how nice and tender it's already soft and then what I did was I flipped it over and then you have to let it cool completely. Now what we're gonna do, we have to scoop out all this pumpkin into a bowl. Like just take it out and it pretty much, it comes out by itself. And then just put it in your bowl. Or go to this really makes me want some pumpkin empanadas. So after I'm done this with this, you're gonna see exactly how much of this pumpkin you can get with just half of the, uh, a big pumpkin. This is why it's good if you find a little pumpkin. We got all this pumpkin out of that, which is pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to start making our pumpkin pie. Okay, so now we are ready to make our pumpkin pies. So like I said, I'm going to make one out of fresh pumpkin, and then the other one is gonna be out of the Libby's can. So, pretty much, it, 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 it's the same ingredients. You're just using one on fresh and then one can. But it's the same ingredients. So we're going to need um, about, for, for the can one, it's 15 ounce can of the Libby's, which is the smaller can. And then on this one, we're going to be using about one and three fourths cup of pumpkin. So 15 ounce and one and three fourths cup. And then we're going to be using three fourths cup of just plain sugar, granulated sugar. You could switch it to brown sugar if you like. I just prefer that one. We're going to need one teaspoon of cinnamon you can add more if you like cinnamon and then we're gonna need a half teaspoon salt got my salt here we're going to be using half teaspoon of the um, ground ginger one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves we need two eggs, which I have to get out of the fridge. And then for each pie, we're gonna use one can of evaporated milk. And that's about it. So right now what we're gonna do is get all this ready. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside. We're gonna get that one next. But we're going to do the one with the pure first. So we're gonna measure out one and three fourths cup. This is a half a cup. So I'm gonna do two of these and then three fourths. So there's half. That's one, and then we're gonna use the one-fourth cut to measure out three-fourths. So you're gonna do three of the one-fourths, which will make it three-fourths. 
So that's one. Two. And three. Okay, and then the rest of this, if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use this for another pie, well then use it. But if not, you can freeze this. And then when you're ready to use it, just defrost it and just put it in a Ziploc bag. And it'll freeze pretty well. So we're gonna put that to the side. And then in here, we're gonna add everything. We're gonna start with the 3 fourths cup of the sugar. One. Two, three-fourths cup sugar, and then we're going to start with our cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to do the half teaspoon salt. A half teaspoon ginger, okay, and then one fourth teaspoon of the clove. I forgot to mention nutmeg. It's optional if you wanna add the nutmeg, you can. It does, you don't need it. Um, but I'm going to add it. I'm gonna add one fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg too. Okay. And then we're gonna add our two eggs. can of evaporated milk. Make sure that you shake it. And that's it for this one. And I'm just going to use the whisk And then this one is ready to go into your cold pie dish. So we're gonna set this one aside and then get the other one ready. Now we're gonna do the other one. So we're gonna do the same thing, just in this case, it's just going to be the can. And then once again, three-fourths cup sugar.
And then we're gonna go put the eggs. Okay, and then same with the spices. Just mix this, break up those eggs. What we're gonna do, um, well, let me pour these into the, into the pie plate. So your oven right now should be preheated to 400 degrees. Okay, so once your pie crusts have cooled, we're gonna pour our mix in here on each one make sure to get everything out of there don't want to waste none of that good stuff so there's that one And don't overfill it either. Looks like I have more left on this one. So I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to put it in the oven for at 400 degrees for uh, 20 minutes. Well, 15, 20 minutes. I'm thinking maybe we'll do 15 minutes. Um, you can put it on a baking dish or you can just put it like that. So we're gonna put it 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we're going to lower the temp of the oven to 350. And then after that, we're going to cook it for about 40 to 50 minutes. You don't want to over bake these. Um, you will know when they're done, when it's still kind of jiggly in the middle. You can still take it out when it's still kind of jiggly in the middle. And then once the process of cooling goes, it cools, it cooks while it's cooling, if I, if you understand me. 
So we're going to bake these right now, 15 minutes. Okay, so I left them in the oven for 40 minutes. Oven times vary, so you just have to keep checking. Um, you don't want to over bake it because like I said, 40, 40, 50 minutes is good enough. And when you check it and it just jiggles a little bit in the middle, that means it's done, see? So it's already done. We're going to cool it completely. This takes two hours to cool. So we will not be able to cut into it until then. But that's the way they look. And that's it guys these are your homemade pumpkin pies with homemade buttery flaky crust and I will take a picture when they are cold I take a slice and then we're gonna put some whipped cream on top <laughs>